All right, hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Hey Guys. All right, so in the last video, I talked about constraints and I showed you how you can use them all um, to your benefit. But there's another part of constraints that sometimes can be really frustrating. And I'm gonna try to show you some of that. So what Onshape does is if you do something, so let, let's grab the line tool and you aren't, paying attention to what's going on. Um, well, Onshape always thinks that you are being deliberate. So if you notice, as I move my cursor up right about here, you can see that yellow dotted line and you can see that the origin is lit up yellow. If you look right underneath, just a little to the side of my cursor, you'll see a little dash. That dash is a horizontal constraint. So if I start a line right there and I bring it down and you know I can dimension it, whatever, and I try to move that line, so let me let go of the line tool, I can move this point, but look what happens to the other point. That point is always going to be horizontal to the origin because that's where I started it. And on shape, was like, hey, you must want that there because you did that. So what do I do if I ha if that happens? Well, I can make it light up by just hovering over. And then if I click on that uh, constraint to highlight it, I can then delete it. And once I've deleted it, now I'm free from that constraint. So this happens a lot. It happens a lot with lining things up. So if I grab my line tool and I'm not careful where I go with this, I could line it up with something in unintentionally. Now, sometimes you want that. Sometimes you're like, okay, I really want this line to start vertical of this point. Well, you can make that happen by simply hovering your mouse over that point you want it to be horizontal and then moving straight up and getting that dotted line. That's the easiest way to make that happen, all right? Additionally, I could accidentally apply an equals constraint if I'm not paying attention to what I'm doing. Maybe right there, now I'm equal. Maybe that's not what I wanted. So you gotta pay attention to that, guys. Sometimes I like to try to take advantage of those automatic constraints when they show up. As I said before, sometimes I want two points to align vertically. I might come over here and move this, bring it up, bring it back down and make it align. Maybe I want it to be both vertical to the point of that other line and horizontal to the origin point. Now that, that point is locked in. It's locked in. It's got two constraints on it. It's not going to go anywhere without making something else move with it. Look, I've got all these tied together with a vertical constraint. So pay attention to that, guys. It could save you a lot of frustration, but it also could save you a lot of time if you're taking advantage of those constraints that Onshape adds automatically. All right. Thanks for tuning in, guys. Don't forget, like and subscribe.